you had a bagel, like you have to mix it all up into a coffee. Eat my bagel with my coffee? You know me very well. Hello everyone, welcome to Jackie at Home. Today we're making homemade bagels, and I know that might seem pretty lofty and quite intimidating, but I promise you I'm gonna break it down and make it super easy, and you're gonna be making homemade bagels for you and your family in no time. My girls love bagels. If they could have a bagel every morning, they would, and to be honest, it gets quite expensive buying bagels at the store every you know week. So I have decided to make bagels at home so I can make them whenever I want, and I can make a batch at home every week, and it's a lot more cost effective plus I can make a batch of plain bagels I can do half plain and I can do half everything for me it's a win-win and these are so delicious we're gonna start by adding one and a half cups of water to a small saucepan and we're also gonna add in some sugar and two tablespoons of olive oil and that was a tablespoon of sugar we're gonna take this to the stove and we're gonna warm it up until it reaches like a little bit hotter than bath water you don't want it scalding you just want it comfortably warm like if you were gonna stick your finger in there it would feel nice and warm not scalding hot and not lukewarm some happy in-between moment you could also do this in your microwave although I like to do it on my stove so I can keep a good eye on it because this has sugar in it I'm gonna give it a little whisk you don't want to leave this alone for too long because you definitely don't want it to get too hot once the sugar is like fully dissolved it's kind of your sign that you're in the right direction all right, we've got our warmed water oil sugar mixture here. Next, we're gonna add four cups of bread flour to our mixing bowl here. I'm using bread flour because it's a little bit more sturdier than all-purpose flour, and it's gonna give your bagels a good bite to them. The first time I made these, and the first time I nailed them, actually nailed the recipe, I was like almost in tears because I was so excited. When you make homemade bagels at home, it's just some people are like, wait, what? How do you do that? Because bagels are just that one Thing that you either go out to breakfast for or you buy at the store but not here baby <laughs> all right we've got our four cups of bread flour and to this I'm going to add two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast there we go we're also gonna add in two teaspoons of sea salt okay and then what we're gonna do is we're going to pop this on my mixer here with the dough hook attachment okay and we're gonna put this on and we're gonna turn on the mixer and we're going to stream in our warm sugar water mixture and then you're gonna let this kind of do its thing and once you see you see the dough kind of forming a little bit in the center once you see that that's a good sign you're gonna let this keep going until that dough ball gets a little bit bigger. And then you're gonna set a timer and let this sort of knead itself for six minutes. We got the Jackie Cam going and I, right now I'm gonna show you what the dough looks like, what the bagel dough should look like before you hit that six minute timer. So you can see the dough has come together and it's sort of pulling away from the bowl on the sides there. You're gonna hit your six minute timer now. I know someone in the comments is gonna ask, can I do this without a stand mixer? And the answer is absolutely. Absolutely. You're just gonna do all of what we just did in a large bowl and you're gonna mix it with a wooden spoon at the start And then once your dough comes together here You're gonna put it out on a floured surface and you're gonna knead it by hand for six minutes So you could do this by hand But I like using the mixer because it's a little bit easier while our dough is kneading away in the mixer I'm gonna get a large bowl here and I'm gonna prep it because once the dough comes out of the mixer We're gonna let it rest in a nice oiled bowl. So I'm gonna spray this down with some cooking spray and we're also gonna cover it so I'm gonna get my dish towel ready all right our bagel dough is ready to come out of the mixer and it looks delicious it also smells really good so I'm just going to put it in our bowl here and I'm gonna cover it with a dish towel and I'm just gonna let it rest for 30 minutes right here on my counter while that is resting, we are going to prep our boiling liquid. So this is what we're going to dunk our bagels in before we bake them. And this is a vital step in baking bagels or making homemade bagels because this process is going to give your bagels a crunchy exterior and keep the inside nice and fluffy and delicious. It's gonna make a bagel 
bowl, a bagel, giant pot. You're gonna add six cups of water. And I like to use filtered water for this. The water is very important when you're making your bagels. In fact, New York bagels, everyone always raves about how delicious New York bagels are. And I'm pretty sure the reason why New York bagels are so delicious is because of the water. The water that they use in New York is like so different from anywhere else that it actually makes the bagels taste the way they taste. Google it, you'll be surprised. In fact, I just learned that there is a pizza place in Florida that makes New York style pizza and they have like a water filter, like a New York water filter that makes water at their pizza place into New York water. It's wild, but it's true. Taking a quick Topo Chico break, I'm gonna pop this bad boy open. And I'm gonna add a lime packet. I know that seems really weird, but it's just crystallized lime and it just really packs a punch. And it's gonna be so limey and carbonated and delicious. And if you ask anybody in my family, my husband, my mom, my sister, they will all tell you that Jackie drinks way too much Topo Chico. But honestly, there could be things worse that I'm obsessed with. All right, we've got our water. And now I'm going to add two tablespoons of barley malt syrup. And this might be a wild ingredient. And honestly, it's not that easy to find at grocery stores. I ordered this on Amazon. If you plan on making homemade bagels and you wanna use barley malt syrup, I'll leave the link in the description below so you can get some off of Amazon. But maybe some of you might just wanna try this recipe once or you're not gonna be making homemade bagels all the time like I am. You could get away with using either molasses or honey. This stuff though is so sticky. Whoa. <laughs> it's so sticky. The barley malt has such a distinct flavor and honestly it just makes the best tasting bagels. You'll still get that like crunchy exterior if you use honey or molasses but the barley malt has definitely a distinct flavor that is unmatched. So two tablespoons of barley malt syrup going into the water and you're gonna bring this to a boil when it's time to give our donuts a little bit donuts <laughs> when it's time to give our bagels a little bath. This is wildly sticky. While our bagel dough is resting, I'm gonna prep a baking sheet. I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. I'm gonna get that all ready. And then I also have my trusty silicone kitchen mat like, what do you call this? Like a counter mat and it's silicone and I like to do my cinnamon rolls and my bagels and anything that I have to like roll out dough for. I like to use this because it just keeps my counters clean and it also doesn't stick too much and it's perfect. So I've got this ready to roll out my bagels. I've got this ready to put my bagels on. Our dough is still sleeping. We got the Jackie cam checking in on this bagel dough. It has been 30 minutes and it looks delicious. Look at that, so soft and it smells so good. Our dough has been resting for 30 minutes and it looks so good. I'm gonna plop it out here. I like to use a little pizza cutter to make little dough balls. You wanna try to make these roughly the same size so all your bagels are the same size. Just do your best. If you have a kitchen scale, you could weigh them out so they're exactly the same size but honestly if they vary in size slightly that's just gonna add more character to your bagel so what I'm gonna do here is just slice the dough into like little logs here and then I'm gonna make the logs kind of like relatively the same size and length here we go I think they got smaller as we went down but that's okay and then I'm gonna take these and just cut little balls like that. You see how I sort of tried to make them the same and do that here. Got that and I'll line it up, slice it again. This bagel might be, that might be a little small one. If I find one that needs more dough, I'll add some to it. I think these are all good in shape. Some of them might be a little bit bigger than others, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna take our dough ball here and we're gonna gently roll it into a snake. Remember in preschool when you would play with Play-Doh? I play with Play-Doh with my girls all the time. In fact, they love helping me in the kitchen and making anything with dough, bagels, pizza, cinnamon rolls. They love playing with the dough. So I always save like a little piece and give it to them. They can like squish it in their hands. But anyways, we're gonna make a little snake and then we're going to take the two ends of the snake. We're gonna connect it and give yourself some room. Don't just connect it like this. You really wanna like push those two ends together. And then you're gonna take your two fingers, put it through the hole and then roll out your bagel like this, so the two ends kind of come together and then you roll your bagel. I guess I'm using three fingers. And then look at that, 
you made a bagel. So once you take your bagel, you're just gonna put it right here on the baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And then we're gonna do that again. It's gonna take some practice to get the perfect little bagel shape. A little side note, I've been working on this bagel recipe for a while and I make a lot of recipes and a lot of recipe testing and it has been raining a lot in Los Angeles where we live this past month. It's been full of rain and our house flooded, back of the house flooded. So our master bedroom, our bathroom, and so we've been living <laughs> kind of like a mess on one side of the house. And it's been a little stressful because it, since it's been raining so much, they haven't really been able to come fix it as quick as they would like or as everyone would like. So it's been a little stressful, but the good thing about when I get stressed or overwhelmed or even sad, I find myself in the kitchen and I'm cooking to relieve stress. That's how I sort of unwind and relax is by cooking. And so while I was stressed out about my house falling apart, kinda, I nailed the bagel recipe, which I'm pretty proud of. So the house is getting fixed, everybody's fine, and we have a delicious homemade bagel recipe to use, which is a win-win, everybody wins. I love this part of the bagel making process because it's so like therapeutic to work with your hands with the dough, and it's so rewarding to see the dough come from just the ingredients that we mix together into an actual bagel, something that you can recognize as a food item. That's so rewarding to me. I love it. Oop, that's a little, that's gonna have a big hole. <laughs> Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. And also, shout out to my silicone counter mat here. These things are awesome. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description below if you wanna check one out. I use it all the time. All right, we've got our bagels here. Look how cute they are. They've been through a lot, so we're gonna give them a little rest for about 10 minutes or so. So we're gonna say goodnight to them just for 10 minutes. Let them rest before we move on to the next step. Everything bagel seasoning. All right, our bagels are rested and our barley malt concoction here, our water and barley malt syrup has been brought to a boil. And I have a slotted spoon here, which makes my life 10 times easier when I'm giving these bagels a bath. If you don't have this, you could use like a mesh strainer or you could get creative with a spoon, but you really wanna find something that has these drain holes just so you can like get all the excess water off. Let me, I'll stop talking and I'll show you what I mean. You wanna give them a good bath for about 30 seconds, no more than a minute. You wanna make sure they are all coated in the water mixture. All right, we're gonna grab our bagel here and we're gonna give it a couple of shakes so all the water sort of drips off through the slotted spoon. And then we're gonna put her right back onto the baking sheet. We're gonna keep doing this until all of our bagels have taken a nice hot steaming bath. And like I said earlier in this video, this process here is not to be left out. This is what's really gonna make your bagel turn into a bagel. This is what's gonna give your bagel a nice crunchy exterior and keep the inside of your bagel fluffy and soft. Plus, if you're using molasses or barley malt syrup like we did, it's also gonna give your bagel a nice distinct flavor. At this point, I feel jealous of these bagels just because it's been so cold here in LA and I do not like being cold. If I had a choice, I would love to be hot versus cold. And I love hot tubs and the desert and hot springs. And like, I know this water is super hot, but man, I would love to be sitting in a hot tub right now. <laughs> All right, let's talk toppings. My girls love plain bagels. So nine times out of 10, I'm making a batch of homemade bagels plain for them, but I love everything bagels. So I've got my everything bagel seasoning in here and it's got poppy seeds, it's got sesame seeds, it's got garlic and salt and it's just delicious. So we're gonna do half plain, cause my girls, but we're also gonna do half with everything bagel seasoning. To really elevate that golden crust on the outside of your bagels, I'm gonna do a little bit of an egg wash. So in this little bowl, I've got a little bit of water here and I'm going to crack an egg right inside. I'm gonna just break it up here, whisk it all together. I should be using a fork, but they're all in my dishwasher, so I'm using a chopstick. Now the bath that we gave them in the barley malt mixture is gonna give these guys a nice crust on the outside of the bagel, but the egg wash is really gonna give it that golden crust on the outside. So you need the both of them to really make your bagels perfect. So I'm going to use a pastry brush and I'm just gonna gently brush these with 
our egg wash. You wanna really make sure you get all over the bagel here. And even if you're not gonna add any toppings to your bagel, any flavorings, uh, you're gonna make, if you're making plain bagels, you still want to give them a good egg wash. I've made almost, I don't know, I feel like I've made like a dozen batches at this point of bagels. And every time I'm like egg washing it and I'm at this step, I'm always like, wow. I can make bagels. And I just hope that you take this recipe and some of you have that same feeling in your own kitchen because that is awesome that we can take just everyday ingredients like flour and what else do we use? Yeast, <laughs> sugar, water, and make bagels. All right, so we're gonna take our everything bagel seasoning and I'm just gonna use a teaspoon measure, but I'm really gonna eyeball it here and I'm going to just sprinkle on um, it on the bagels. You could also put this on a plate and then I could pick the bagel up and dunk it and then put it back down. Okay. We're gonna bake these in the oven at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. And I cannot wait for you guys to see what they look like after they're baked. Look at these. Y'all, we just made bagels. That is so awesome. They look perfect, golden, crispy on the outside. They are so piping hot. They smell delicious. Can't wait to eat one of these with some cream cheese. Yum. Oh my gosh, which one should we eat first? A plain bagel or an everything bagel? <laughs> As you can see, they sort of puffed up. So the ones that had like a little tiny hole in the middle, they sort of closed up, which is fine. It's still a bagel, even though it doesn't have its hole in the center. But that just reminds me to tell you that when you're rolling out your bagels, make sure you really roll them out and give them a decent sized hole. So when you bake them and they fluff up, they have that iconic bagel hole that everyone loves, I guess. I really wanna bust one of these open and show you how yummy and delicious these are oh my gosh they turned out perfect they smell so good okay I'm gonna just run my bread knife through the bagel someone in the comments is probably gonna come at me for cutting a hot bagel with a sharp knife in my hands oh look at that Ooh, look at so fluffy and doughy on the inside I'm gonna take a bite just as is mmm Tastes good. Tastes like a bagel. It's perfect. Yum. Mm. You can eat them plain like this. But what's a bagel without some cream cheese? Mm. <laughs> I love a plain bagel, I do. But I'm gonna save the rest for my girls. What I care about is an everything bagel right here. Got our bagel cut. Look at that. I just love how it's crispy on the outside and then like super fluffy on the inside. You see that? And I'm gonna load this up with cream cheese. I mean... Is there anything better than a warm bagel loaded with cream cheese? I don't think so. And you know what? I don't know if this is like sacrilegious or not. I know people take their bagels very seriously, but I'm gonna put this together like a little sandwich and I'm gonna get right into it. Mm. <laughs> I'm laughing and smiling because I'm so happy. I absolutely love this bagel recipe. It is so tasty and makes the most delicious bagels. Yum. That everything bagel seasoning on the top is chef's kiss perfection, but you can also top these with whatever you'd like. Just add the egg wash and dunk it into whatever seasoning you want. You could do all garlic, you could do salt, all sesame. You could do whatever your heart wants. Mm, you hear that crunch? Uh, I hear Maya. She probably will definitely want a bagel. All right, here's the real test. Is it good? Can I have the other half? Yeah, I'll have half. Mommy, you bake gold on the back. Thank you. Seal of approval, you got that. Love it. While Maya is finishing her bagel, I do want to remind you that uh, I wrote my very own cookbook. It is called My Dinner and Dessert Diary. It is filled with recipes and also personal stories that correlate to all the recipes in this book. And I'm so dang proud of it. It's got soups, it's got salads, it's got sauces, dinners. And let's not forget desserts. Oh, okay. Ooh, lots of lots of desserts, lots of good things. If you want to check out my cookbook, I'll leave the link down below. I love this. These are my homemade bagels. They are perfect. They are delicious, and I hope you give them a try. If you like bagels, please give this video a thumbs up, as that really does help out this channel. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and join our community here on YouTube. We're having a lot of fun. We're making a lot of good things. Yum. I will see you next Thursday.